The dancers from Towson University have literally owned Division I dance since 1999. And you can add one more this year with their 2012 championship performance. Well, Craig, they come here year after year, and every other team looks at them as the team to beat. However, their motivation is to compete against themselves and continue to beat themselves every year. They start with jazz. And using some old-school music throughout this entire routine almost makes you want to sing along. Beautiful pirouettes. They always have phenomenal technique throughout this routine. And you can see the entire squad doing these skills really shows the strength of this team as well as being able to stay synchronized. Head coach Tom Casella in his 20th year. My name is uh, Tom Casella, and I'm a professor of theater at, at Towson University, and I coach the dance team. A year or two before I took, uh, the dean asked me to take over the dance team, my daughter Kimberly had died. And she had asked uh, me that she said, you know, maybe you should get her involved with a women's group on campus. Tom, for all of us, I can easily say that we all feel Tom's like a father figure for us. You know that in his heart of heart that he truly cares about you and truly wants you to succeed as much as possible. That's what makes the difference. He cares so much about this team and he gives us more than I think that we could probably ever give him back. Tom definitely is the major driving force that keeps this dance team alive. Without Tom, we wouldn't be anywhere. So they transition into their hip hop section. Not too many teams use this song, Respect. And they have earned it. In 2009, Stephen F. Austin won in Division I dance, but that was because perhaps Towson University moved to Open Dance one and won that championship. So technically, make it 14 in a row this year, Amanda. Well, they know how it feels to win, and it brings them back to be more creative every year to outdo themselves. They see us dance, and they think like, oh, wow, they look really nice. And because we practice so much, and we do so much conditioning to make sure our dances look as amazing as they do, we make it look easy. So it also comes off as, oh, like, it just, they're not dancing, like, they're not doing anything that hard, but, I mean, they don't see, like, the background work of how much time and effort that we put into this. 1996 was our first year we went to college nationals, and we had no idea what we were doing. That was the year I realized that you didn't have to have the best dancers, but you had to have the best team. Uh, I don't think we had really the strongest dancers at College Nationals. We were excited to go there that year and um, we really worked hard. I, I think that was the year in 1999 that I realized that a lot of dance teams had better dancers, a lot of dance teams had better coaches, a lot of dance teams had better choreographers and better music and better choreography. But the interesting thing is we were the best dance team at working hard. So I always tell the members today, there are other dance teams that have a lot more than us, but there's not a dance team in the country that works harder than us. never worked this hard at my studio on our other competition team. It never ever. We would never go in on a weekend and sit there on Saturday and Sunday and work for eight hours. Never. That's unheard of. We would never do that. Studio was again more about your individual dancing whereas the Towson dance team is completely about the team and making everyone better not just yourself. Every single practice, we are in the zone. We cannot afford to have a practice where we are not productive. Every time we do our nationals routine, we do it like we're doing it at finals. We push to the limit every single time, so 
we won't, our bodies won't be in shock when we get on stage. The pressure is intense, um, and it gets, the pressure is more and more every year. Honestly, it's unreal because not only are you putting pressure on yourself, you know, because you, you yourself and you for your team, you want to do good, but it's also for Tom who puts all this effort into it. Part of winning is for us, but a lot of it's for him. You know, Tom always tells us that um, it's not easy being great. If it was easy, then everyone would be great. Fifteen straight would, I mean it means everything, and fourteen meant everything. I'm not content with fourteen, you know, I want to keep going. Winning that fifteenth national championship would mean that I helped us get there, you know, like me and the other three officers have been running practice mainly, so it would mean a lot because We've prepared, we've tried to prepare the team for what's coming next semester, so it would mean a great deal um, for us to win that 15th, and it's just a great accomplishment, you know, 15. <laughs> you know, we go down there and we compete against ourselves from the year before, so we always try to make ourselves better than the year before, as long as we do that, we're the best team we can be.